Okay, so welcome to our discussion on um, number systems. So this is a part of our series in discussion on the subject of logic circuit and switching theory. So for this uh, time, we will be tackling about uh, number systems. So basically, this will just only be an overview of the number system, which we are going to tackle the uh, four number systems that are usually used um, in uh, computers, uh, especially those used to uh, to uh, convert raw data to, lang to a language that is um, that can be processed by the computer. So the first one, the first number system. Okay, so the first number system will be the decimal system. decimal system so this is very common for us so this is known also as the base 10 base 10 so if this is uh, the uh, the one that we are using when we are uh, doing counting doing um, mathematical uh, computation or arithmetic so for example an example this one will be the number 123 so it is called the base 10 because each of this digit is a power of 10. So for example, if we are going to write this one in its uh, in its uh, composite form or or we are going to decompose this one into its uh, places. So we have here 1 times 10. So this is the base to the power of 2 plus 1 times 10 to the power of 1 and 1 uh, this is not 1 this is 2 sorry for that this is 2 times 10 to the power of 1 and 3 times 10 to the power of 0 so if you are going to um calculate this one so this is 1 times 10 to the power of two, 10 to the power of 2 is 100 so we have 100 plus 10 to the power of 1 is 10 times 2 we have 20 10 to the power of 0 is 1, so we have 3. So if we are going to add this one, this is 123. And if you are going to represent, uh, for example, um, for example, we are going to represent decimal numbers. For example, we have uh, 12.65. So we could have the decomposed version of this as 1 times 10 to the power of this is the 10th place so this is 1 or 1 or 1 times 10 to the power of 1 plus 2 times 10 to the power of 0 then we have for the decimal places so we have this is 6 so 6 times 10 to the power of because we are done with 0 so this will be negative 1 plus 5 times 10 to the power of negative 2 so this is 1 times 10 so this will be 10 plus this is 1 so this will be 2 plus 6 to the power of 10 this will be 6 over 10 so negative plus 5 over 100 so this will be 10 plus uh, 2 that will be 12 plus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.05 so if we are going to add this so we will have 12.65 and that is the decomposed version of our of our given now we will go to the second one so this is the one that is usually used in in the computers so this this is called the binary system so the binary system from the result by so this is 2 it is uh, to the base 2 so meaning we have only two digits to use in this one that is the digit 1 and uh, this is digit 0 and 1 so in in, in a computer so this will Basically mean if that is zero, this will be off and this will be on. Okay. So the 
the binary system is much uh, useful in the computer because the computer only knows two options if it is off or it, it, it is on so for example if you are going to input a computer the number 1010 so the, the computer will just be basically interpret this one as on off on off and that on off on off will represent a certain code that the, that the computer can understand so for example this 1010 maybe this is equivalent to a number 20 we don't know but that is depending on how the computer interpret this uh, number or this uh, code that is how binary system works then we have go to the octal so the octal system so from the word except octal or ox so it it is made up of eight numbers or eight digits so we begin at zero they have one two three four five six and seven so this is on the base eight so this is usually used the octal number system is usually used to convert binary so because it is quite simple so the conversion can be done by looking at three bit combination so for example if you have this long number zero one zero 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 one so if we are only going to interpret this one per three bit so this will be equal to uh, this will be equal to six and this will be equal to one so the the interpretation of this one in octal is equal to 61 so this is the equivalent octal for this binary number so this is how this is why the octal system is very important the next we have the last one the hexadecimal system So the hexadecimal system from the word itself hexa so meaning six decimal so it is on the base 16 so in this uh, base or number system uh, this could get uh, much um, uh, complex because we are now um, consider uh, considering not only um, numbers but also letters because we have 10 numbers or 10 symbols that we could use for the numbers and also we will be using letters so the digits of this number system could be represented by 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then we will go now to the letters a b C, D, E, and F. So we have 16 uh, symbols that we, that we could represent as part of the digits. So for example, if we would have, we could write a number here as F4. Okay, so this F4 has its equivalent num number in binary, in octal octal and in decimal so it has its equivalent representation in binary octal and decimal so the hexadecimal system is most common system because it can represent raw computer data because you could uh, you could subdivide your given binary system into um, four four digits and the four digits is much easier interpreted by your computer so this is just very basic on how the computer would use or would uh, convert the raw data into uh, a simple command a simple code that we could use and usefully those code are are used or are converted into the system the binary system so in the next video, we will try to convert 
uh, the different uh, number system. So we will convert binary to decimal, decimal to binary, and vice versa. So if you are new to this channel, so don't forget to, to subscribe. And as always, enjoy learning.